welcome back to a oh, button smashing to storming. Yeah, I don't know if you're able to pick that up. But it's storming. I don't know if the mic is able to pick that up, but holy crap. It is storming holy pretty Holy crap. Anyways, we are playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trilogy. And, and our client is kind of uh, burying himself. Yeah. So, Judge, you want to I already said this in the last episode, so go ahead. How about you refresh them and do Why? it again? You're you going to be the death of me. Yes. That's what's, what's going to happen. Yes. That's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Get to that. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's what you wanted me to do? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? There we go. I believe the accused motives is clear to everyone. Mm -hmm. Just quite. Oh, oh boy. boy, this is not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Oh. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. That's not what you want to say in the murder trial, bro. Mm -mm. Uh-oh, he went. What do I do? S stop him from answering, maybe? That's up to you. No, dude, you are making the decision. I'll send him a signal. Lie. No, Oh, that yeah, is not... that was a bad choice. And you made the decision, so you can't even blame me. Yeah, it is your decision. Um, well, see, it's like this. I don't remember. You don't remember? Well, then we'll just have to remind you. I got a bad feeling about this. We have a witness that can prove he did go to the victim's apartment that day. <laughs> well, that simplifies matter. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. And also the murderer, but whatever. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Rubble, 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 rubble. Order, order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, you are, Annie. Hmm. This is bad. You think? Yeah, you guys you probably should have picked the right answer, dude. God, you're the one who picked. And on the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank saw it. Oh, he saw it. Frank saw it. Mm -mm. Oh. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Oh, God, this asshole. Mr. Saw it, you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is that correct? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Newspapers. Yes. Mr. Saw it, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Murder. Here we go. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing in a apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment and I saw her looking there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. Anybody who says quailed is, is guilty. Anybody who says the word quailed in fright is guilty. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and I found a public phone. I remember the time exactly it was 1 p.m. The man who ran was out of doubt. The defendant sitting right over there. Mm. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? You the, oh. You told us to lie! This motherfucker right here. I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Usually. Blink, blink. Yes, Your Honor. But however, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Saw it used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blockout for your perusal. Anybody who says perusal is a jackass. 
I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. He kind of is a jackass. Yeah, it's the food just says perusal. Like, here, for day. your perusal, like asshole, just says like I have, I have it here for you. Exactly. Ass. Now, Mister Wright. No, no. Oh, Mr. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm getting used to the controllers. the The controller is vibrating in the hands. I feel like I'm being ham raped by the game. I just, this is just too much. You may begin your cross examination. Say hand rate. C cross examination, Your Honor. All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Oh my God. Why? You exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness testimony to the evidence at hand. There is bound to be a contradiction. In there. Uh, uh, um, contradiction! Oh my god. First find contradictions between the court record. Court and record! And the witness's testimony. I swear to god. Then. Once you found the contradicting evidence, present and rub it in the witness's face. Um. Okay. Open the court record with R1 button. Then point out contradictions. The testimony. There you go. See, we're working together now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh, he is still excited, just swinging back and forth with the breasts just going. All right. Okay, so here's his, his here is his uh now, testimony. Now uh You want me to keep going or wait? Uh hit R1. Okay. Now Okay. Sure. Let's scroll through. See what we got. We got the time of death was four PM to five right there. Oh wait, no 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 no. No no no, no. he said No! He did, he said it was said around it was one, one PM. So hold, hold no, on. no no hold on I think we could only so should we only do it? Wait, I as was gonna his... say can we go back and re reread his testimony? Well, hold on, hold on. Okay. So hold on one second. Okay, scroll through. Okay, wait a minute. Sorry, I had to switch. Okay, that's okay. the murder weapon. Okay, keep going. That's our passport. Okay, keep going. That's the records of the blackout. 6 p.m. To it was out from, from noon, noon to 6 p.m. On, on the day, day of the crime. crime. This guy says the, the time death, of was death was at, at one o'clock. I mean, no. he said that it was, yeah. was at one. So I'm gonna go back. We're gonna go back to his testimony. I was going door to door, selling subscriptions, and I saw a man playing apartment. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can scroll through his testimony. Yeah, that's why I was like, let me see first. Okay. Okay. And I saw her lying there, there. woman, not moving dead. I quelled in fright. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought to call the police immediately. Da, da, da. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Keep going. I went to a nearby park and found out the phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. right there. Now you presented with the, some evidence. Okay. Right there. This? Yeah, the autopsy report. You sure? Yeah, because he said it was one o'clock, but the time of death between four and five. Ah. Yeah. So what's the present? Uh, triangle. Oh. Okay. You found the body at one p.m. You sure? Here we go. Yes, it was one p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was no body to, er, uh, uh, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three hour gap? Mm. Oh, that. Oh, that's just so this is trivial! The witness merely forgot the time! Oh no, fuck you, dude. No, he didn't. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawit, why were you so certain you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, er, well, I... Gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out the contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait! 
I remember now. <laughs> Would you care to give your testimony again? Mm. All right. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video or tape the program. That's why I thought it was with him. That's some bullshit. I'm terribly sorry about that. That is some thing. bullshit. That is some straight bullshit. Wow. I don't know any program <sighs> that just starts I see. shouting out time. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. The you dumbass know. witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Do I? I don't know. Oh, uh, you do. Okay. Ready? Here we go. All right. We did it. R1. He heard the time. Oh, wait. It couldn't have been because the time, uh, the power outage. Yeah, because it was out between noon and 6 p.m. So how would yeah. she be able to hear the, yeah, go yeah. for it. Present she that. Because if it was Objection! Time, she wouldn't have been able to, wi to watch TV. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Oh, now you fucked. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Go. Yeah. I, well. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawant? No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember now. Mr. Sawant? The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That and you seem rather uh, distraught. That, that's that's the word I would use to, mm -hmm. to explain that, mm -hmm. yeah. My apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sawit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. The lion ass. Here we go. All right. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a tablecloth in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. What? You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. We're gonna pull up that murder weapon because I believe you're lying again. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, yeah, let's see, let's see. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna pull up that murder weapon yeah, because I don't think it's working or something is off. No, no, keep scrolling weapon. through until you get to the oh wait, do you do you present it at the Let me see. That's the badge. We don't need that. We don't need that or that. This is what he was saying. Yeah. So this is what we need to present. Yes? I know I'm I'm, I'm thinking like do we have to present it at this particular okay. point? In, in his testimony, or do I we... think so because we're <clears throat> examining. No, I'm saying like like because we're able to scroll through his words. Is what I'm saying. So, okay, so well, let back. me go back. We'll scroll through his words. Yeah, Here we go. I didn't hear it. So the table clock the environment wasn't there. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to. Okay, yeah, so, so it's so, murder weapon. Must have been what I saw. Okay, so yeah, present that. Okay. Here we go. Objection. Hmm. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue. Now, how was this supposed to be a clock? What? You, you, with your objections and your evidence? Just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Sark. Hey, I I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. <laughs> yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch you just tilted and it says the time out loud. Ooh. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. So how was he able to switch it to hear the time? You have to hit her. <laughs> I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Quick question. Well, Mr. Wright. Because. It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes. I don't know. Go with your guts. No, Derek, you are doing the thing. Do it. Know who? 
Spotted Menace. Whatever, just freaking answer. I don't know. I guess yes. I've never played this game, so. I yes or I never. I don't remember it. So just yes or no, you pick. I said yes. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Oh yes. Yeah. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... Went into the apartment. Or knew the victim. Went to the apartment. Oh, say that. You're a lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. We just did. We the car. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Damn, we... we from zero to a hundred. Okay. You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Mm. Or her in the court. <laughs> Intriguing, please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. Mr. Saw it. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Oh. What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Is it? Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> I don't know what all that Would is. the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that day, I, I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw. Ah! Really, what the bro? Fuck was really, that? bro? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I hate you! It was me, I tell you. Was, I saw him! No, it was him, I tell you. Uh, it, it, whatever. Gotta see. I mean, he took off the. I, I, I messed up because he took off my hair. Up. He, he killed her, and he should burn, burn, give him death. Okay. Order, order in the court, I say. Your Honor, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claim. This is. Mr. Wright, Your Honor, you claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I'd better think it your Honor, the sound Mr. Saad heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Hmm. Good question. Mm -hmm. It's a really good question. I don't know which one. You know we're going to answer it, though? Oh, next time on Bun Smashing. Yeah. Okay. We will answer this question next time on Bun Smashing. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Deuces. <laughs>